Happy spring, everybody. It's Sean Weckle with Bend Reload EXP Realty coming at you with our May 2024 Bend Market Update. We're going to start here with mortgage rates, both actual and projected rates here on this graph. Now, we've been still getting hard with those high interest rates around 7.5%. But as we've highlighted in previous market updates, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And as we head to Q3, Q4 2024 and into early 2025, we are expecting that light to really start shining. So hang in there here. With that being said, what we're going to look at is mortgage rates over the last year. And the big lesson here is that it's volatile and it's going to be volatile. But overall, the trend is a little bit down. As you can see, in the late 2023, we were up over just a tad over 8%. They relented and then we slowly climbed back up with those mortgage rates to around that 7.5% mark and now we're coming down again. So this is a normal cycle. We are expecting this volatility to happen as those rates start to lower. But again, it's all playing towards the light at the end of the tunnel here. Let's take a look at some numbers for Bend here over the month of April. So a couple big things I want to point out. $707,000 is the median price. That's actually down 6.5%. We don't always see this in spring um, leading into summer. Normally, it's a busy time of year, which leads to home prices staying steady or rising. Um, but with these high interest rates, it is softening prices a bit. And you're seeing that reflected here um, in the downward change of median price. What we're also seeing though, is that homes that are sold are selling in about 10 days. So the properties that are priced right, that again are great properties are really moving quick. So if you're a buyer, be aware of that. Now, there is a caveat that properties that aren't selling or are staying on the market for 35 plus days. We're gonna to touch on that here a little bit later, but sold properties going very, very fast. We had 162 total closings, that's up 29%. So more indicative of a spring market. And then we've got two months of inventory, which is no change here month over month. Now looking at MLS data for Bent, 36 median days on market. That's what I was talking about. So properties are still sitting if they're not priced right, okay? Or if they're again, that unique property that requires a special buyer. So it's a great house, great price, we're ready to jump. Otherwise, we're still seeing houses stay on the market here. We had 433 in terms of total listings. That's up 16.1%. Again, indicative of that spring market. 144 listings with a change price. So that's up 20%. Another sign of those high interest rates in that sellers are having to adjust. From there, we're also seeing average change from original price around 4%. And that's down a bit here, at least in terms of month over month. So looking at our charts, number of sales, we are up 100 to 162 total sales in the month of April. We look back to April 2023, we're at 129. So activity is actually up relative to last year, which we love to see. Moving forward here to median days on market for sold properties. Okay, we mentioned this in the numbers earlier, we're down to 10 days for sold properties, the properties with the right price, the right features are selling fast. If we look back to last year, we were at that same marker. Now, moving forward to median sales price per square foot. So this is a line with that median overall price dropping. As you can see, 366 down to 348. I mentioned this is a little bit abnormal. Again, it's in part due to those interest rates, but if we look back to last year, April to May, right? We saw the steady uptick in price um, as we went through things here, all right? A little bit of a correction back to 2022, but this is more what we kind of expect to see rather than this dip, again, being caused by those interest rates staying high. So moving forward to the bottom line here, transactions are up 29% and listings up 16% from last month. So the activity is increasing. The warm weather is here. People are wanting to transact. There's a lot of pent up demand and we're seeing those numbers starting to reflect again in our data. With that said, a third of listings are selling in 10 days. So very, very fast while the rest are sitting for 35 plus days. So again, if it's a hot property, if it's priced well, if it's something you really want and we know there's competition, we gotta move on it. Otherwise, there's still time, all right? That 35 plus day mark still applies to people that are, again, are approaching with seller pricing, high pricing, um, or again, probably just not a fit for a wide variety of buyers. Now, looking at that, we want a nuanced strategy. Um, it's gonna be required custom to each property. And really that last point above is what is at stake. So if you're not specific to your property here with your strategy, you're risking, you know, either being 10 days and getting your home sold quick, or you're gonna sit for that 35 plus day mark again. So that's why it's so, so important that you have a strategy um, and a game plan that's specific to your property. Now, 
7% is the over and under for interest rates. What this is referring to is that as we continue to drop, once we get down into the sixes, we are expecting a flurry of activity. There's a lot of pent up demand right now, a lot of buyers on the sidelines, but a lot of sellers waiting to sell too until those rates get a little bit lower. Um, so just be aware. Um, and I really wanna shout out the buyers here that as, the, as we drop lower, especially if we see any significant drops, uh, competition is just gonna go through the roof. We could potentially see multiple offer situations. We're starting to see that again on those properties that are only lasting for 10 days right now. Um, that's only gonna get worse here um, as those rates come down and more people come off the sidelines. So I hope everybody has a wonderful month here. Um, please reach out to your broker right now um, regarding creating a strategy, even if you're six months out, a year out, uh, the market is super dynamic, so make sure you stay up to date and educated. I'll look forward to seeing you back here in a month to cover May's numbers. Have a great week ahead.